They cleared a lot of trailers out. Not a very nice day, really cloudy. Yeesh, look at that poor thing. I mean, that's a fire hazard. Why is that even here? What the hell? I've never seen someone steal tires right off the trailer, but I guess it's possible. Huh? Do you believe people actually lived in here? Yeesh. Yikes. <sighs> so trashy. The grass is growing thick again. They don't care. They're coming. Yes. Fucking checked out. Fucking Bernie. Nora. She didn't pay a rent, but yeah. I talked to talked to the lawyers this morning, and they said uh, fire hazard. <laughs> Oh, look, it's closer. Check out what you know. Watch out for nails. Fixed income. So you can imagine how people in one cow inch and RV parts felt when they discovered their rent wasn't just going up, it was more than doubling. Kendall Hansen went to that park today to find out what's behind this change and what it means for the renters who call the RV park home. Carol Lawson has been calling this spot beside the Cowichan River home for the past five years. But what she pays to park here is increasing from $500 a month to $1,200. I knew that there would be a price hike, but this is so beyond it. I, I'm only on two percent uh, CPP and OAP. And that's like $900 a month to live on. I just don't think it's fair. The height means she has to move. She's among those living on 15 sites along the Couch River that are facing an increase. I was told that they cannot accommodate my bus in this park. It's too big, there's no room for me, so I would have to go. New owners have recently taken possession of the property that has more than 150 people living here. Many are low-income earners that have lived here for years, some more than a decade. Other changes have seen the washrooms closed and a lot more stress about what may come. There's no happiness here. As you know, it's not like it used to be. Everybody's just a bundle of just tight, sick, sick to my stomach. 78 year old Wes, a war veteran, has lived here a decade and says he believes he only has one option if his rent jumps. <laughs> Go on the street. Others are in a similar situation. It's not the called that anymore. It's zoned within the Cowichan Valley Regional District for campground and or tourist accommodation. None of those living here have a tenancy agreement, which provides some protection for tenants. The property's manager says she took our request for an interview to the new owner, but he declined comment. 
Lawson says, unlike some, she at least has some he options. Declined comment. My wow, unit here he didn't is show up at our place. Storage, no, did. Up at a friend's place up in Cedar, and uh, I have my truck and a camper, and um, yeah, I'd be living in my camper. A housing crisis that's now playing out for some here in real time. North. Oh, we get closer. Check out what's up now. Watch out for nails. Let's see how well of a job they do. That's how the grass is. See how well a job they do. If they even come 